I'm Sheldon Atwood. I'm here with Western Ranchlands at the Tomahawk Ranch. Uh, we're located about 80 kilometers west of Edmonton, Alberta. It's a 14 and a half thousand acre property that uh, our group acquired about three years ago. We've really continued a legacy of uh, environmental stewardship that began here with the previous owners. We're really excited about the progress that we're making and particularly the partnerships that we've uh, developed and continue to build on with groups like Alice Canada. So this is primarily just a beef cattle operation. Um, we do harvest some forage from uh, sub-irrigated meadows for winter feed for cattle, but largely all year grazing. Alice has funded five different projects here on the Tomahawk Ranch. And some of those projects dealt with uh, fencing off riparian corridors so that we could better manage the land around the waterways and reduce the impact of grazing in those areas, but still get effective utilization on the adjacent uplands. Other projects that we're really excited about include the development of a couple of different uh, water pipeline systems where we've taken um, effectively uh, low volume water wells that exist around the ranch and linked them together through uh, a large three inch uh, water pipeline that enables us to put a significant amount of water in any portion of the ranch at any time. So we can have larger herds of cattle for brief periods of time. And then again, what that allows us to do is to cover the area more uniformly, very quickly, and create long periods of rest between grazing events. Now, normally you wouldn't be able to do that because you'd only have a well here and a little dugout there and these little pockets of water in this type of landscape. The real benefit from an ecological standpoint is the ability to capture more water and hold more water in the soils and promote more growth of plants over a longer time period. Uh, it results in less surface erosion and runoff so that water uh, doesn't leave the site as quickly and is there for plant growth over longer time periods. Those plants then are more prolific and they take more carbon from the atmosphere and bring it down into the plant and then into the soil profile through soil exudates that um, not only feed the plant and the nutrients in, in the soil, but feed the microbiology in the soil too. We recently participated in a project comparing adaptive multi-paddock grazing or intensively planned grazing rotations with conventional operations and uh, what they were able to determine is that we had on average a little over 250 tons of CO2 equivalent per acre here in our uplands as opposed to an average on neighboring lands uh, in the range of around 50 to 60. So I think probably the ideal outcome of this ranch is to continue to show people that we can manage our resources more holistically in ways that improve the environment and make a profit while producing the ecological goods and services that society values. By all of us gathering together to do that, that's a way of saving the world.